Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading for December the 6th through to the 12th. So coming off the lunar eclipse, the, sol the total solar eclipse, the new moon in Sagittarius, sorry, around the 3rd and the 4th. And yeah, sandwiched between some interesting astrolog astrological energies, uh, there, oh, there is a big shift and change. Fellow water sign Scorpio is coming out with this death energy. So something has really, with this eclipse energy, it does bring about endings, endings of cycles, severing of ties. And there's a sense that something very powerful and of, is ending here in terms of a cycle. So let's see. But the death card brings transformation coming through for this as well. And I was going to talking about the fact that the energy for the end of the year is quite intense. Uh, we're coming up to the final square between Saturn and Uranus, which is happening on the 24th, Christmas Eve, for those of you that celebrate Christmas. And there's this sense of things starting to ramp up. So between the clips and that energy, I think it's going to be interesting the next couple of weeks and we'll see what's coming in with you. But this feels like more the tail end of a what occurred with the eclipse energy that came through for your cancer. So let's see. Ooh, the star card coming in. And the ooh, celebration, that, that's a cancer energy there and the hermit at the base. My goodness, this is big. You've got three major arcanas plus the card of celebration. So, wow, this is really amazing, this energy coming through for you, cancer. So with the star card, you know, that death card, that horse is heading straight for the future here now. Um, it's a sense of some transforming your future. The, the star card does represent future hope. So you might be feeling a lot more hopeful for the future as well. I feel like there's a celebration that something is over, something has ended and you're moving into the future now. And it's interesting because we have the star card here and the star represents wishes coming true, but it also can just represent hope, you know, stepping forward, being very strongly guided. And you can see the star guides you here, but also in the hermit energy, going deep within, looking within that darkness and seeing what's that wisdom that has been uh, learnt and accumulated throughout this cycle that's now over. It's going deep within with this hermit energy and its guide is the star. So it's like illuminating the darkness. So it feels like there's hope. It feels like there's more hope coming in here and this is a nice energy and it actually feels like more hope and connection because the hermit energy can feel uh, like there's been distance and isolation and the three of, uh, three of cups is around connection and uh, social occasions as well. So, you know, this is actually really nice. For some of you, you might just be glad that some sort of social occasion is <laughs> over for some of you and you might need some alone time. This could also be that you're just wanting to spend a little bit of time in there by yourself just to re recuperate, replenish. So it can kind of go both ways. Uh, with the star energy, this is such a beautiful energy of healing and hope restored. So absolutely lovely energy. And we've talked about the, the hermit. This is the Virgo energy of going deep within, connecting in and finding those answers. So it does actually, in general, this is like really honouring the space that you need, whether it's wanting to be with people or wanting to not be with people. I think you're going to be really sensitive to that energy around and what it is that you need at this moment in time. So let's, either way, it feels like there's this lovely cycle of healing and there's a sense that... A lot of emotions are transforming here as well. A lot of feeling, more positive feelings are coming in. So let's see, let's pull a message from, I mean, it's it's big, the death card and the star card right next to each other. There could have been like big changes that you've been dealing with as well. And it's just like, uh, it's thank goodness that this is over now. So let's pull... I'm just making sure there's not, not anything extra I need to get out of this. No, I just feel like you're moving uh, into the future and feeling much more guided, beautiful. So message for Cancer from the universe. We've got oneness is my true nature. 
So I'm going to turn this around so I can actually see it, Cancer, so I can see what I'm reading here. Oneness is my true nature. So that's actually a beautiful energy to come through. Let's pull a message from the fairies and see. So it just actually feels like there's been a huge release here. Letting something go. We've got the maiden has come out for you. Absolutely beautiful energy. The maiden is uh, the inner child. It's the inner child. And this is a lovely energy to come through because we've got here the two energies of the sage, the old sage, the old and the new. So goodbye old and gain all the gifts from that. Hello new, the inner child. And it, it's also showing you the different parts of yourself, like coming in and oneness is your true nature. We've all got the old wise sage. We've all got the inner child. And so it's kind of, it might be a really nice energy where of connecting to a grandparent energy coming in. It might be grandparents connecting with grandchildren. Uh, it can be that sort of uh, energy. There could be healing around that. So I do feel like that families coming in, perhaps family occasion could have been coming is coming in here with this. And uh, yeah, th this feels like a really nice connection here between this old en energy of the hermit and the maiden. So both of them are very wise energies, actually. So let's pull a, a message from the Ascended Masters. We've got two that have come out for you here. We've got Choose Peace. <laughs> so that's really lovely. I'm going to put that under the star card and next to Oneness is My True Nature. And Drink More Water. So sometimes when the Three of Cups comes in, <laughs> it means that there may have been quite a lot of celebration and it may be the need to rehydrate for some of you with this drink more water. But the drink more water in general just means uh, that it's around just allowing things, energies to cleanse through your body and flush through your body, however that applies. So it's just a practical little uh, little message that comes through. So let's look at what animal energy is coming in. And interestingly, I just want to say the connection here because this is the card. The star card is the card of Aquarius, which is the water bearer. We can see, uh, you know, the water the, the water bearer has got the jugs of water here. And so the water quite literally could mean on another higher level uh, soul and spirit. So it could be connecting to that as well on, an, on another level. So let's see what animal energy you are working with at this time animal energy for cancer but I, I think this is a time of replenishment a time of replenishment and maybe a time of going within and connecting to some lovely deep energies we've got the hummingbird reversed okay so speaking of replenishment the hummingbird the right way up well not that there's a wrong way but the usual way up I should probably say is the element of air and the hummingbird is around joy and hummingbirds it's around finding joyful replenishment in every day like finding a little something that brings you joy every day and that helps replenish your soul so when it's reversed, it might say next with next to the star card, where have you, uh, where has that been lacking in your life? Where has that been missing? Or is this something that you're de you are developing deep inside yourself as well? So, you know, I do feel like mostly it's saying that there is the need for replenishment coming in and to try and connect to more joy, which is actually, and to find that, uh, you know, it could be something so small, you know, the, the maiden, this inner child energy really wants to connect to playfulness and joy. And this can even be children around you as well. And it's kind of like learn from that. If there's something, if you feel like this is something that has been missing from your life, and it really is just a small thing. It might be looking out a window and going, I love the view that I'm seeing here. Uh, drinking a cup of coffee and going, I absolutely love this taste. And it's just those small moments that uh, maybe you go sit by a, a lake every day at lunchtime or sit on a, on a park bench or go for a walk up and down and look at the shops. Whatever it is, it's something that brings you joy and it's that break from 
the, the stresses of the day, the obligations, work, whatever it might be that you're doing throughout the day. It's that thing that kind of just you can really look forward to. And that's kind of what they're saying this week. Bring in a daily practice of that. Uh, really find what that is and connect to that. You might already have that, but it's kind of saying this is going to be something really important and it's a really nice thing to be doing. So however that presents in your life. Let's pull an affirmation card for you, Cancer. It says, I am willing to forgive. Forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the answer to almost every problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself. I forgive and I set myself free. It's really interesting because uh, I think that's this energy of forgiveness is coming in really strongly with the water signs as well. So if you have any other water energy in your chart, and I think it's because ne because of Neptune, Neptune being in Pisces, and I do think that that's bringing at this moment in time the opportunity for forgiveness to come through. This also says, I express my creativity. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. <laughs> my creativity is always in demand. Again, Neptune in Pisces coming in and, and having an effect on you, being open to high spirit, being open to forgiveness, being open to creativity. And this is an energy that's coming in and transforming in your life. So beautiful energy. Let's finish it off with a charm. So let's see. And I also would like to mention, speaking of the future, <laughs> 2022 with, with the star card, your 2022 readings are out. Uh, so just reminding you that the, they are out. Love it if you come and look. It's a comprehensive view of what's in store for you in 2022. We're going to go through some astrology, look at the main tarot energies of the year and go and focus in on things like home, career, love, money, all that sort of stuff. And then we're going to go week by week. I mean, sorry, not week by week, month by month. That would take forever week by week. Month by month and look at the general pattern of the year, when's a good time to do things and how the year's panning out. So that's all in the 2002 yearly reading. I love it if you come over. The link for that is in the description box below. Now we have the key as the charm that has come out here and it's got that little uh, symbol which is an old ancient symbol. It has been, has been negatively appropriated throughout the history but it ultimately represents uh, flow, uh, cycles, cyclical nature, of things and how the universe always flows from one thing to another and it's this constant flow of you know it can be related to seasons or it could be related to you know there's always while well, one moment ends another moment begins and it's really unlocking this key to uh, being able to be very present actually <laughs> it's a key to a present perhaps even for some of you but being very present and uh Understanding that life is cyclical, life occurs in cycles and there is a big one ending and beginning at the same time for you at this moment in time. And it is about embracing that and to be able to, if if you're not feeling that this is happening, the answer for that is in this, this hermit energy, going deep within and looking deep inside yourself. It's a very internal uh, energy and that, that key lies within you. So... It is also when you're seeing something big ending like and transforming with the death card, it does require some time and it does mean something very beautiful is being unlocked and changed and it is about surrendering to that process as well. So that is the reading for the week, Cancer. Very, very beautiful high vibrational healing coming in and it's a, I think it's very lovely energy. It's kind of on that lovely um, Neptunian uh kind of energy that I think that you're connecting to quite a lot and this is something that if you're wanting to do something really creative or wanting to kind of go into some sort of intuitive go really deep and intuitively uh, learn anything to do with intuition or use your intuition or either just uh, you know it can take you to so many places so yeah that's pretty much the energy that's coming through for the week so that's it enjoy the week and I would say really honor whether you want to be with people or not that's going to be up to you so thanks so much for joining me cancer please like subscribe share leave a comment and take care